How many of y'all out there are fans of the Transformer series? As far as the old series, all the way back to the 80s to now. Like, they did a lot of different Transformer shows, a lot of movies. Now, half of the movies weren't really that good. Other than that, how many of y'all fans of Transformers, period? Am I the only one, or are some of y'all rocking with me on this? I'm basically gonna make a video just to let you guys know, let somebody out there know that they need to bring back the Transformer games like the real Transformer games. I want to see a new Transformer game like War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. What's up everybody? This is Supreme King back again with another video. And I just wanted to talk about this real quick. Not too many people care about the Transformer franchise like that as on, on the video game side anymore. It's kind of a shame because there were two really good games there. Now I know they still went out there and did like some movie tie-in games that did not do good at all, but those two games were fantastic. You don't hear too many other things about Transformers on the game side. And I know, I think there was like a deal with Activision for that. And I guess when Hasbro got their hands on the franchise, somehow they had those two games get delisted and it was kind of a shame. It was kind of a shame. I mean, unless you have them physically, you, you don't have access to buy them right now. However, there are ways for you to get them on, on PC. Just do your research. <laughs> what I just want to do is I, I just want to highlight these two games. I think they're fantastic games. I think they can find a way to make not necessarily a third one, but a game that it, like it doesn't have to be the same story they should have another transformers game that had this same gameplay with the online and with all that stuff like i think this game should not have just died out in the old generation the xbox 360 and ps3 generation like it's kind of a shame because transformers is a huge franchise it's, it, it didn't you know it's gone through more than one generation i feel like this game should be you know shown or showcased in this generation like the next gen generation where you can have some really good ray tracing like you guys see how forza and, and gran turismo looks at least in the promotional material and everything as well as when you play the games like like they look good but imagine you do something like that and then it's like a transformer and then you still got the shooters going you got like you know better controls than like titanfall 2 when you're in this in the mech or whatever you know because they did it they did it back then and it was great imagine that with the updated frames and the updated resolution and the ray tracing all of that stuff and, and you play it on modern consoles and a pc it'll be awesome and i think that they should do that again it doesn't have to be through activision high moon studios somebody should be able to figure that out like that shouldn't just die off and then we never get nothing like that again i know they came out with a couple more games there's one i can't think of it right now but i'll, I'll I'll put it on the screen right here like that right that's not the same those other two games were great that franchise is good like i think there should be somebody out there advocating for this maybe it's got to be me maybe that's why uh, you know i got this little tiny platform now but i know i'm not the only one you guys want that right some of you out there want that one extra game what does it matter you know just do it Xbox got this game called Exo Mecha, but for the most part, it looks like you are the first person shooter, you know, doing the multiplayer free to play thing. These things are like in the background. It's like, that's the closest thing we got right now. I don't think you play as the actual machines and stuff, but that game is probably going to still be fun. At least I don't know how good it's going to be. I don't, I don't even know what stage it is in its development or if it's, you know, set to come out sometime next year, but it's not Transformers. It's not, it's not going to be what you saw in war or fall of cybertron you know that formula is out there somebody can do it even if they rename it come up with a different idea don't say that they transform it. any little thing like come up with something good on that there's a game that I highlighted not too long ago that I just purchased on uh, PlayStation that was on sale for like three or four dollars. It was called War Tech Fighters. It might still be on sale now, but it, it I think that sale is going to end real soon. So you might want to hop on it if you want to try it. But that game has something similar just from what it looked like. It's not the same, though. It's like I'll get my fix for right now you know whatever that means right but other than that it needs a full-fledged triple a game it's transformers you know it's been a generation they waited like four generation where we didn't have a game of that caliber under transformers i can't really count the other one that one was kind of short it wasn't really it's not i can't count that one sorry but i can't but i want to see it again i think they can do it let me know if that's something you would like to see that's it for this video it's just real quick i just want to talk about that other than that rocket launcher podcast 
podcast coming out every Sunday morning, 1030 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Leave a like on this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.